Well, our brothers and sisters, Monsignor Shore from the Maronite Parish, Christ the Redeemer in the Hills. Um, over recent months, uh, some great heads of families have passed away. Queen Elizabeth II, and head of Great Britain and the Commonwealth Family of Nations, Pele, father figure of the soccer world, and Pope Benedict, um, Holy Father of the Church for eight years, and Cardinal Pell, Cardinal and Archbishop. And um, in the passing of great figures, we often think back of their example and their words. And um, I was thinking back over Pope Benedict's homily when he was first elected Pope, and he, uh, in coming into this new mission that he was given, um, he quoted St. John Paul II, saying, Do not be afraid to open the doors of your heart to Christ Jesus. He takes nothing away and gives you everything. You might say, how can he say that? Open the door of your heart to Christ Jesus. And he can say that because of what John testified, what we know in the scriptures and what John testified, John the Baptist testified about Jesus. And he says, firstly, he is the true son of God. He is God become man, God humbling himself uh, to walk our, our world, walk in our world, our fractured world and our suffering world to show his love for us. Second, he said, we can see God through him. Secondly, he said, he is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. He doesn't take away the fullness of beauty, the goodness that comes from God, the goodness, love and truth. Beauty, no, he takes away sin, the, the thing that distorts them and wounds us. He takes that away and brings us his healing. Takes away all that we might be afraid of. And the third, he says, he baptises with the Holy Spirit. That through baptism, that he showed us in his baptism, the power of the cross, the Holy Spirit brings the life of the Holy Trinity in us. That makes us sons and daughters in the Father. We have that security, that identity. And that we are called to discipleship, we're called to follow and share with others. And baptism is the great door open to us, shows that, that baptism opens God, the life of Christ to us. So what are we called to do to have that life, that truth, that beauty? We're called to open two doors of our heart, the two doors, you know, like the front of a house has two doors. So the first door is the door of a relationship, a committed faith relationship with Jesus surrendering, trusting listening and letting him take the lead in our lives and following him always opening to him listening to his word, trusting him opening to his love so we have that relationship and we rely on that relationship and it's nourished in the sacraments and uh, it's nourished too and deepened if doing things like Alpha faith talks, reading sacred scripture watching the Chosen series, things like that, nourish that relationship, inspire that relationship. And the second door then is the door of discipleship, that I open and let flow from my heart that relationship. I've, I follow Christ as a disciple. I'm, wanting, I'm ready to proclaim him, to share him with others, to invite others to come to him, to invite others to come to our parish community, people that have fallen away, people that, yeah, to be welcoming, inviting, and in my marriage, my family, witnessing to him, sharing here with him, praying with others together. So it's a powerful way. So there's two doors. That's how we listen to Pope Benedict's words. Do not be afraid to open the doors of your heart to Jesus Christ. He takes nothing away and gives you everything. Christ our Redeemer. Have mercy on us, transform our hearts with your love to be your disciples. Amen.